Hey everyone, this is Phil. I'm a member of the Red Canary community team and one of the great projects that we have an opportunity to support is the Atomic Red Team project. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that. If you are not, it is a collection of very small, very focused tests that you can run in your own environment that are specifically designed to trigger certain kinds of activities modeled around the MITRE ATT&CK framework. So just basically gives us an opportunity to say, hey, is my detection logic working? Are my security instrumentation uh, platforms, are those all doing what they're supposed to do? Are they seeing what I want them to see? And having that mapped off to a common framework and a common terminology like MITRE ATT&CK gives you a chance to, to really do more of an apples to apples comparison. Well, the project itself has been around for a while and we've built a lot of community following around it. And one of the great things to come from that community involvement has been putting that content on the on a website. And uh, this is on atomicredteam.io. And we're really excited today to announce a brand new complete refactoring of the entire website with lots of great features and a whole bunch more to come down the line. So really what I wanna do with you today Let's just take a minute here to walk through a couple of the features, give you a little bit of a guide, a little bit of a walkthrough, and have a chance to see what we have uh, deployed out in this new uh, web presentation. Before I start though, I do want to give credit where credit is due. I want to give immense thanks and complete credit for all, all of the backend work behind this to one of the members of the Atomic Red Team community, Hari Sudan, who has put in a tremendous amount of work into making this what it is and also helping us to put this out into the form that you were able to see today at atomicredteam.io. So thanks so much, Hari. Uh, your contributions are uh, just absolutely valued and uh, truly, truly appreciate the work that you put in on this. What I'm showing you here is uh, just the homepage itself. So you go to atomicredteam.io and uh, you'll see this. And it's just really where we can collect all the information, all of the different resources regarding what the project is, how to use it, and really focusing on how you can get to using these atomic tests quickly in your own environment. So the homepage you see here really just kind of shows you a bunch of the different uh, projects that are a part of the overall Atomic Red Team kind of ecosystem. And uh, the one that we're going to really focus on with this introduction to the new website is going to be just going right into Atomic Red Team itself. Now when you click into here, you're going to see that there's all of the individual tests. All of these individual atomics are going to be listed out here. Now there's quite a lot of those. You can see there's over 1600 different tests right now and that's just today. Those are going to be added to over time because our community and our team continue to increase the number of tests that are used for, uh, um, for the overall framework. Now, that's a lot to go through. You're not going to go through every single one of those line by line. So what we have now is a better way of filtering and looking for those. And you can filter these based on certain parameters or based on freeform text, as you see here, because maybe you're working in an environment where you've never before tested detection abilities against, let's say, Mac OS systems. And maybe a new project has come into play or some new developers. And in your environment now, you need to incorporate Mac OS testing into your overall detection framework. Well, the good news is once you go to platforms, you can see here there are all of the platforms listed individually. And I'm able to pivot that down just to Mac OS. Now we're going to see that there's still over 200 of those that are available for Mac OS, but that's certainly a lot better than 1600 that we saw previously in the entire collection of Atomics. So very quick filtering down. Now you can of course add other filters. Um, I won't go through every single one of those individually, but you get the idea here that if you were specifically looking to uh, test this with Bash on a Mac OS system, you can combine those two filters together. But when you get this list in here, you get this general summary here. All right, which one am I really gonna wanna look at um, identifying whether I can detect if an adversary were to use that? And maybe your own threat intelligence says, oh, you know what, we really have this, this threat actor or this risk that we associate with a technique of, of decoding a base 64 encoded uh, blob into a script that runs. It's actually a fairly common adversary technique, and it's one that we really wanna make sure we can detect. So you can see here, we've listed out the MITRE ATT&CK ID. This is technique 
1027 as well as just a little bit of information about the uh, the test itself. So you can see here, once we click into technique 1027, there's all kinds of information about this individual atomic test. Now this is also uh, continuously updated. We're adding to it because again, it's a free and open source project. So we have contributions from the community in general. And of course, our techniques of being able to test these uh, different mechanisms is gonna change over time as well. Now let's say that I'm looking specifically for being able to run this test from the shell. So this would be from a KSH on a Mac OS system, for example. And I can scroll down here and I can say, okay, here we go. We're running this one with SH. That's gonna give us the, uh, the techniques and the individual commands that we need. I can read a little bit more about this. Um, I can identify, okay, here's the, uh, um, the, the commands that we'd like. Here's what I'd like to run. Uh, the information that's involved and in, in displayed in all these tests is going to tell us, um, you know, what default values might be present here or what other um, uh, different parameters you might need to provide, for example. This is a pretty simple test just for the video recording here. And it's a test here that I can now say, okay, let me go ahead and I'd like to actually execute this. I can copy that code. And now if I were just testing this on a one-off basis on a system in my enterprise that's instrumented out with maybe whatever my EDR solution is or my other telemetry collector, I can now paste that into the shell and it'll run these commands. We'll then go ahead and hopefully trigger a detection. So very quick, a very easy way to go through that individual detection. And that's why it's called the Atomic Red Team, of course. It's very, very small, very focused testing built around each individual technique. Now, as you scroll further down, there's other ways of testing this. If you do a PowerShell, for example, in an environment, you might be able to test it using PowerShell. It'll tell us different things that we need for the inputs for each and every one of those tests. And as you can see over on the left-hand side here, all of those 1600 tests are gonna be listed. So if you knew that you needed to pivot over into another uh, technique just right off the bat, it's a very quick, easy way for you to do that. So. Each of these tests is gonna have all of this information available to you, which gives you a chance to uh, kind of look through that in uh, as much detail as you need, test with the individual commands. And even though behind the scenes, all of these tests, and in fact, all of this documentation is maintained in a GitHub repository, you actually never had to go to GitHub to get that. This is all conveyed directly through the atomicredteam.io site. So very convenient way for you to get up and running extremely quickly. Some of the other features that are present in the overall Atomic Red Team ecosystem and are also conveyed here through the atomicredteam.io site, you also have different ways of executing these. I just showed you the copy paste method a minute ago. And if you wanted to go to something a little bit more comprehensive, you'd be able to go into a PowerShell framework that we also provide and support, which is called Invoke Atomic Red Team. It's cross-platform, runs any place that PowerShell is going to run. And that means we can run it in Windows, of course, where it's traditionally most associated. We can also run this in Mac OS or in Linux environments. And it's a chance for you to go ahead and, and run these tests from this comprehensive framework. Using Invoke Atomic is a little bit more involved than just running the individual commands that we had just showed you. So I won't go through exactly the full setup of that. That's not the purpose of this video. I just wanted to show you that it is present here on the website. But as you can see here, we've got instructional videos that are linked directly onto the site. And we'll continue to add to those as more and more content becomes available. It's a great way for you to kind of take the best in breed of all of those different um, uh, instructional uh, videos and other content and have a chance to go and learn about that in, in your own time. Another section of the website that I think is really important here is, of course, the documentation. Uh, it's all built directly into the site. Once you go over to the documentation here, uh, not only is this going to give you the kind of quick start document for getting started, but in time, you're probably going to realize, man, I would like to contribute my own atomic tests. I found something or developed a methodology that I would like to contribute back to the community. And hey, it's an open source project. We absolutely love to support open source tools that everybody can use and certainly value Value your contributions. So we've given you a guide on how to design your own atomic tests as well as how to write those out and information on how to contribute that. If you find problems with the uh, tests at all or, or you just need further support or information, you can look through how to submit new issues. This is all done through the GitHub repository, of course. So you'll need a GitHub account. 
but it's a very easy way for you to contribute to the improvement of the project itself, even if you're not going so far as writing your own tests. We absolutely value all of the contributions across the spectrum of what the, the project does support. And on that note, getting over to the GitHub repository, obviously if you click on these links here, you'll get right where you need to go. But at the top of every single page, you can see we have our link over to the GitHub repository itself for Atomic Red Team. So it's a chance for you to jump right in and see the full code behind it. And then you'll see we also have a Slack icon as well. There is a Slack community which is supported by hundreds and hundreds of practitioners like yourself. And we give you an opportunity to join that and ask questions, seek support, share your findings or share the other neat things that you've discovered with Atomic Red Team or uh, just have a chance to participate in the broader community at all. So you can join that with the link that we've provided for you right on the site and jump into the conversation. I hope you find that to be a useful initial walkthrough on the brand new website. Again, extreme, extreme thanks to Hari Sudan, who has done such a great job with putting this together and working with us to bring it to life. And uh, also thank you for being a part of the Atomic Red Team community. We look forward to hearing from you in terms of how you're using the project and the atomic tests themselves, and hopefully have a chance to uh, gain your contributions as well and have a chance to feed back into what's become a very, very powerful framework for testing your detection capabilities.